Alright guys, welcome to my uh, first tutorial on the mission editor in DCS. I'm gonna be covering some behavior in this tutorial. Uh, some behavior nowadays in DCS is uh, pretty straightforward actually. Um, whenever we want to strike them, we launch a harm, they eat the missiles, end of the story. This doesn't happen with uh, SA-300s, sorry, S-300s or, or TORs, S-15s. Uh, as they um, reply back to our missiles and most probably they destroy it unless you launch a, a proper barrage of, of missiles against them. So yeah, let's start with the basic thing that uh, we have to have is a SAM battery and this uh, occasion I place an SA-6 battery, yeah? With the corresponding search and tracking radar, the man pads, the, the battery, the four launchers, support vehicles and... Uh, the command post, la, 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 la. not much to add on this, yeah. Um, the aim of uh, this whole thing is basically to make the battery, the, um, sorry, not the, yeah, the battery, to react to our shots, namely by switching off the radar in this case, yeah? Because normally, again, what happens is that they just keep emitting until they get hit by harm or uh, in the future we're gonna have strikes as well. Um, as uh, DCS is of, as of now, it's not realistic as uh, if a battery commander gets attacked by, uh, uh, by um, anti-radar missile, what they're gonna do is they're gonna switch off the radar most of the time, so they're gonna switch it off. Yeah. Nowadays, especially, they're, they're quite effective. Uh, this whole tactic, if you want a little bit of history, if not, you can skip a couple of more minutes, started uh, during Vietnam War, uh, as uh, the United States implemented the wild whistle missions, uh, with uh, mainly with the F-105G and the F-100G, I think, as well. Um, Thunder Chief and Super Sauer, respectively. Uh, they were using at that time mainly the AGM 45 strike, which uh, it was the first uh, modern, just to say it, I don't know if it's say modern or not, but the first massively used anti radar missile. Yeah. Uh, the strike would hum uh, into the radar mission and uh, if uh, the emitter didn't switch off the radar, it would strike sometimes. If the uh, emission goes off, the missile drops dead. Yeah. What's happening nowadays in DCS is basically the same. I think the harm has a little bit of, of um, back onto it. Uh, we're gonna see it now anyway in the demonstration. But yeah, that's when the whole thing between uh, some batteries and wild whistles started and there is more to it. Uh, there's plenty of books that you can read about it. I, I'm, uh, I read a, a few of them. I'm gonna be uh, linking them to uh, Amazon in case you want to buy them. They're really, really interesting. Uh, okay, let's go back into uh, DCS, yeah? So we set up the SA-6 battery, we set up the attacker, which is going to be um, a tornado. In this case, a German tornado armed with two harms, yeah? The harm version that we have in DCS is the AGM-88C, which is quite modern. Uh, it should be more effective in DCS, even though the radar goes off, it should hit more accurate allegedly uh, we don't do not have the d i think the d is a newer version with um uh, it has uh, some kind of radar uh, micro no, millimeter wave radar i think if i'm not mistaken and uh, basically the fucker can detect the shape of uh, the target if you program it in its memory bank you have to Google it and, and research more about it, and me too. I shouldn't even be talking about it if I don't have enough information. Shame on me. Going back to the CS, we place the SC6 battery, yeah? Secondly, what we want to ha have is a trigger zone, yeah, which we can get over here. Creating trigger zone, okay? 
create rear sun, you place it and you name it. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it from scratch. So we place a trigger. We place. Uh, we write down S86 trigger zone. And uh, if you're gonna use the mission editor heavily, uh, if you're gonna do complex missions, please do please name everything. It's very important. Um, the game doesn't give a, a heck about the names that you put, but you're gonna give it a heck the time you wanna use the, the trigger panel. Yeah. So we place the trigger zone. Yeah. We named the group. In this case, it doesn't make any sense anyway, because we want to focus on what? On the tracking radar. We name the 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 unit unit name. You can write the write, write down here. Sorry, S six tracking radar. Yeah. So then we go to the triggers. We set the continuous uh, continuous action. Yeah. Which is not here. So we are gonna delete everything. So we can start over again. We set the trigger, yeah, and continuous action. Why continuous action? Because we wanted, whatever we set as con as actions, we wanted to happen through the condition. The condition is gonna be a harm, or AGM-88, in this area that we set, sorry, in this area we set over here, in this trigger zone, all right? For what? For what purpose? To switch off the radar. Yeah, for the mission to go off and mislead the, the harm. So, continuous, uh, continuous action. We name it uh, SA6. Tracking radar off. Conditions. The condition is going to be missile in zone. Which is going to be around uh, here. Missile in zone, excellent. In the missile in zone, the type that we want to have here is AGM-88. Yeah. The harm in this zone, in the SA6 trigger zone, is gonna make the track, the search and tracking radar from the battery to go off. So what do we do to do now? To do that, sorry. We placed unit AF, uh, AI off, and we choose SA6 tracking radar. This is the name that we gave to the tracking radar, yeah? What happens if it gets fired upon, it's gonna switch off. But we wanted to go back to uh, go back to a mission after certain amount of time that we're gonna set. In order to uh, for that to happen, we need to raise a flag. Yeah, a flag is something that gets raised when an action happens. Uh, it's something for you to measure something else to happen. Yeah, you're gonna understand more when I use it. So we go to flag on. Flag on should be over here. Yeah, we can put numbers, not, not names, like written names to the flags. So we're going to number by the number 10. Yeah, number 10 is set. So this action make AI unit, or, um, a unit AI go off. So the rest not the mean anymore and it's raising a flag. The flag is for a switched event, switch condition, sorry which is gonna be SA6 tracking radar on and this is gonna happen yeah in a time since the flag since since flag number one two three four five six seven eight ten happen it's gonna happen 30 seconds after and it's gonna provoke the AI unit to go on so yeah small recap set up the battery Set up the names, yeah. Especially this little fucker over here. Excellent. We set up the trigger zone, which is we name it SA6 trigger zone. Yeah. The condition for the radar to go off is a missile in that zone. With the missile is gonna be specifically an anti-radiation missile. Let's say if you have several missiles, yeah, you have I don't know, you wanna make a, a strike package with aircraft using harms or strikes you put or you add missile in zone again missile in zone is here here and you put the strike which is HM45 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 
84? No. 45. There you go. And you can add as many types of items you want. Yeah. For now, we're focusing on the, for the sake of demonstration, we're focusing on the on the harm. All right, we make it the unit AI go off, flag up, times its flag, 30 seconds, and the unit go back, goes back on, yeah, after 30 seconds. So let's try it out, yeah. Let's hope it works. The AI can be a little bit random sometimes, so it should be fine. But uh, get into the to the habit of naming everything. Yeah, when you're creating a mission, when you want to cre create complex things happening, and this at that time with certain triggers in certain trigger zones or certain actions triggering something else, the names help a lot. Yeah. So the tornado is approaching. S six fires. Tornado says, "Fuck you." back sorry for the words I can't believe it missed seriously and what's gonna happen now it's rare is off yeah if the rare was on you would see um, the antenna turning but it's off why because as we specified the harm are inside certain area and that makes the rare go off and we see the harms harmlessly Wank. nowhere cool in real life I think the harms would be hitting around uh, this area or this area they have INS it's not a freaking shrike that drops dead but yeah that's happening lately uh, um, if I remember correctly it's a bug from ED and they're working on correcting it but when I tried the harms for the first time was where was it like six months ago in this kind of environment uh, with the tracking radar uh, switching off uh, they would hit like really really close sometimes it would damage the antenna not to work anymore that's a good uh, amount of uh, randomness to happen and it's welcome all right and we see that tornado right now and that's it let's go to uh, something a little bit no more complex but that adds some spice to it so you've seen that I place a tour here as a 15 uh, or a gauntlet as the NATO denomination yeah. we place it here we're not gonna be late activating it anymore we want this fucker here to stay silent and this until this poor fella comes here and it falls well within the um, engagement zone of the weapons engagement zone of the of the tower. Yeah, weapons engagement zone. So it's like uh, 12 k I think. Yeah, 12 clicks. Yeah. So uh, we what we're gonna do to create an, uh, an ambush? We're gonna create again. You guess right? A trigger zone. Yeah. This is the engagement zone, and we want to make sure this guy falls for it. So we're gonna put the engagement, uh, the ambush zone at nine kilometers. Let's say, yeah. So what's, what's gonna happen? What we want to have is the tour since mission start. So mission start tour of since the very beginning, yeah. So no condition, just the mission start. For the AI of door to be off. So same as before. Yeah, we search. We, we search. Sorry, we set. Unit off. Unit AI off. Tor ambush. Tor ambush is the name of of the unit I gave it. Yeah, I gave it over here. We can set uh, group AI off as well. I'm gonna tell you later why I, I'm not doing that. Anyway, and this I could have done it in the other one though. Cool. We haven't set. This is gonna be off since mission start, but we have to set the ambush. So, a switch condition is gonna be. The name is gonna be Tor Ambush on. 
ya. Condition that we we're going to ask for is to have part of the collision, which is B, part of the collision in the zone. The collision, part of group now, sorry, part of collision in the zone. The collision is going to be the blue, which is the attacking one. The zone is going to be the tor ambush. Yeah. What we're going to specify here is that the tor is going to be on when this condition is uh, fulfilled. So, door on, ambush on, excellent. But what happens if we're a very complex mission? Yeah, we have the ambush. The door goes on, it fires, it doesn't kill the aircraft, or it kills it, but the aircraft, the, this uh, tornado manages to transmit that he's under attack by an SA-15 or whatever, in, the, in this area. If the door stays on, it's gonna be quite, well, the door is quite difficult to kill, but you know what it is, you can avoid it, you can kill it by uh, several tactics, like uh, basically you can massively attack it by uh, on, on several axes from here, here, and here, and the tower is gonna fall down uh, from one of these axes, which is saturation. Sorry, I, I didn't remember the name. You can make a saturation attack on the tower and da da. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, so we want the tower when there's no blue collision here to switch off. So we go to switch condition. And our ambush off. Let's say the guy reports, yeah, that he's been attacked, he survives or not. If the tower is still on, you know where it is. You, you can triangulate the location, basically, yeah? If the tower is off, you know it's in this area, are you gonna be with your testicles in your hand? Great. So, what do we do for uh, it to switch off? We are gonna put all the collision has to be out. So, yeah, because if we have part of it in, it's the same. All the collision is out of the zone. The zone is gonna be the tor ambush. And what's gonna happen is that the group, I, I, well, group uh, unit here is the same. I explain to you why later. So unit A off, Tor ambush off. Yeah, so let's try it. Let's see how, how it goes. And we have the over there. Let's go to F10 map. So we set up um, in um, a trigger zone of nine kilometers, yeah? So let's measure it up. It's gonna be around here that the tour is gonna go active. The tour, as we can see now, is inactive, yeah. The tornado approaches, la la la, gets engaged by the, th by the uh, SA6, and the tour comes back to life. Tracking tour, and let's see what happens here. I don't know if the tornado is gonna. Yeah, tornado got shut down. Well, tornado got shut down. Yeah. What happened here? The AF of tour is off. It's not transmitting anymore. Yeah, it's not. The antennas are not folded. Yeah, as we can see, but it's not transmitting anymore. It's waiting for another target. Let's uh, do a like a foolproof thing. Yeah, we're gonna copy and paste this flight over here. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna make it attack anything because we don't need to attack anything. What I want to prove is the tour is coming back to life after it goes off. Yeah, so let's try it. Okay, go back to the mission. Whiskey for the masses. Fly, let's go to the map, yeah? So, la 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 la, this happens. Uh, 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 I think, yeah, I need to separate it a little bit more to prove it. It's okay, shit happens. Especially this, yes. No, I didn't need to do it. Uh, this fellow here is gonna get shot down shortly by the door over here. 
Fire, motherfucker. Okay, out. Tor is off, yeah? The other tornado set up is getting within the engagement zone. There you go, and it activates again. Tricky bastard, yeah? And this one is gonna... So, let's do a recap. What did we see here? We want the, the SAMs to react to our shots with the anti radar missiles. So we set up an engagement zone, sorry, a trigger zone, yeah? Uh, to give a clue to the unit to switch off the emissions, which is AI switch, or AI, a unit AI off, yeah? Unit AI on, after certain time, this thing happened. This thing means the harm was here, yeah? That's the logic. Why unit? And I said I was going to explain later. Why unit and not group? Because you can set up a group AI to go off. Why? I'll explain you why. Let's say uh, this guy goes, uh, this um, tracking radio goes off. Yeah. Uh, the SA6 has a minimum engagement range. Let's say this guy came at Mach 1.5, like blazing, shoot the missiles, shoot one after the other. So. The battery commander is gonna say, fuck it, I'm not buying it, but what do we have here? One, two, and three mud pads, yeah? So let's say the white whistle guy gets ballsy, he has, I know, um, let's not say Mavericks, let's say he has uh, clusters, yeah? Uh, CBU, 97s, rock eyes, whatever. He's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna bomb it, uh, but wait. You have Mampats here, the Mampats are gonna eat him alive. He might be able to bomb, but he's not gonna survive us probably with three Mampats here. Uh, especially if he doesn't know they're there. If we would have placed here, over here, where is it? Instead of unit, yeah? Group, AI off. The Mampats would be off as well. Um, why do I do this? Because it's nice to have uh, templates. Why? It saves you a shitload of times. Time no, of time, sorry. Because let's say this is gonna come in more detail in another um, uh, in another tutorial. But let's say you are building a um, it's a six regiment, yeah, uh, for that is supporting a, a, a motor rifle division. Uh, they say 6th Regiment has 5 batteries, so you have 1 battery, 2 battery, 3 battery. Uh, it depends how they are located. Uh, wait. Let's make it a bit more realistic. But let's say you want to create that quickly. Yeah, you know, you don't want to place unit by unit because it's a pain in the ass. So 1, 2. Uh, the frontage of the edition is. Soviet kilometer in Soviet is 10 kilometers, let's say three. Well, wrong uh, country, but you get the idea. Four and five, yeah. Fuck. Shit happens, this is risky. So, let's go back again. Sorry about it. Uh, six, six, okay. Three, four, and five. Yeah, this would have been the standard. Not the one that you always were, would have been used, but the standard uh, disposition of uh, um, our defense regiment actually is more than 10 kilometers per yeah, 10. Yeah? Sorry. But, let's say you want to create this quickly, yeah? I'm gonna cover templates in our uh, more deeply in our um, tutorial. But yeah, there we go. You have a, a divisional air defense regiment just over there without the headquarters. Which the headquarters I have them here somewhere. Which, uh, to be completely honest with you, this is completely like superfluous because nobody gives a shit. Uh, very few people are purists about what do you have, what you don't have. And uh, let's say you want to create, I don't know, uh, 
BMP2 company. One, two, three, you have a battalion. One, two, three, you have, uh, uh, you have two battalions. One, two, three, you have a... Uh, uh, you have a regiment, yeah? A division would be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nine battalions. Look how quickly I created a, a regiment. No, sorry. One, two, three. Regiment of. Um... Fuck! Sorry! Let me go back. That's a division, actually. It's uh, three regiments of uh, BMPs of a motor rifle division, Soviet plus uh, battalion of tanks. So, yeah. And I'm missing more tanks, actually. Um, because a regiment of uh, BMPs is three BMPs plus one of tanks, so yeah. It's quick. Use templates, guys. Basic things of uh, mission building is use templates and uh, name your units, especially if you want them to interact with triggers. Yeah. Uh, well, it der derailed a little bit at the end, but I hope you really like this uh, tutorial. I hope you liked it a bit at least. If you don't, just let me know what to do better because it's my first one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna um, write down in the comments, no, not in the comments, sorry, in the description below, uh, books that are gonna be useful in case you wanna create your, your own air defense uh, integrated, sorry, integrated air defense systems. And, and how to create missions, because uh, this is, is a huge um, sandbox, actually. Um, it's not the BMS, when, where you have all the environment over there. Here you have to create it for your mission. Yeah, it might be not so uh, exciting as... Uh, getting into something that you don't expect, but uh, if you're in a squadron or you're fine with friends It's nice for each of you to learn how to do it In order to surprise your friends, you know, make a good mission and, and have fun because It's all about having fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be covering Integrating air defense systems how to make it using these um, triggers and a little bit of knowledge from from those books which are dated uh, but hell, <laughs> better than going to like most of the servers online nowadays, which is like striking striking a M1A1 or M1A2. Sorry, what we have on on DCS, which is static. Yay! It's just target practice. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day or the night. And uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial. Take care. See you.